Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to everybody. So, uh, we're going to continue the our lesson on Echo Sounder. So, hopefully you guys have watched the first and second videos. First video, we talk about the basic fundamental. So, why we need Echo Sounder. And second video, we talk about the uh, parts of all the components of Echo Sounder and how Echo Sounder display the depth. Uh, how it show you what is the depth of this place what is the you can see of this place that display is what we're going to talk about today because there is few options uh, you can choose whether you want to use range or you want to use face so when you going to use range and when you going to use face so that's what we're going to talk about today okay range and face okay there is a difference between range and face First of all, range, the, dis the display will be uh, from 0 to 20, 0 to 100, 0 to 200. So, uh, on the chart you will see, on the display you will see 0 to 100, or 0 to 200, 0 to 20, or 0 to 50, depend on the maker. But, as far as the IMO standard is concerned, 0 to 20 meter, and 0 to 200, 200 meter must be available this one is compulsory the other is optional and then range is to be used when the depth is unknown so let's say you don't know the uh, the depth of that place so you, you, uh, you switch on the echo sounder just put any range let's say 0 to 100 meter and after some time the display will come out and it will, uh, it's showing that the depth is around 30 meter so you can change the range to 0 to 50 meter so that you will get more accurate uh, depth so because if you use 0 to 100 at the depth of 30 meter there will be uh, the scale is too small right okay so once you know the depth once you once you know the depth let's say the depth is after you switch on you put uh, range to 0 to 100, 100 you get a depth around 70 meter let's see then you can change to face because face is specific depth display okay so face can be 0 to 220 and then 20 to 40 next face is 40 to 60 or it can be 0 to 50 and then next phase is 50 to 100 okay so since we know that the depth at the place is around 70 so you can change the display to 50 to 100 so mean meaning to say on the display you will not see zero you will see the depth start with 50 meter and with 100 meter okay so to be used in area with little variation of depth and the depth is known let's say uh, the depth is around 30 meter okay and then you use phase 20 to 40 okay you get nice reading of 30 and suddenly the depth change to 50 meter which is more than the phase okay more than the phase so what happen is if there is a display in between 20 and 40 you will assume that the depth is around somewhere 20 to 40 right but actually the depth is already changed to 50 so that's the danger of using face so the display on range and face will be uh, will look like something like this so if you choose range 0 to 20 it will start from 0 until 20 if you change range to 0 to 40 meter it will start from 0 to 40 meter and uh, for face you can uh, choose 0 to 20 meter face and then if you choose 20 to 40 meter pace it will start from 20 meter and end with 40 meter so this is just a number to give you an idea where is the range and face okay so another difference between facing and ranging is ranging the stylus speed will always change thus the pulse repetition frequency will also change and the scale will always start from zero okay uh, while facing the stylus speed will always be same because the transmission is can be advanced and prf the pulse repetition frequency will always be same and the scale does not always start from zero 
like we saw just now the scale can start from 20 it can start from 340 it depends on the which phase you are choosing so i will show you why, what does it mean by stylus speed change cool okay let's say the depth is 15 meter and we choose ranging 20 meter another one is range 40 meter so when the transistor start to transmit a signal if you, if you remember from the last video the same time the stylus will start to move right okay and then it bounce and receive when it receive the stylus will make mark on the chart so if you notice just now we saw uh, we uh, rewind so if you notice the stylus speed will always be different if you choose a uh, different range so so for, for me, 40 meter range the stylus is uh, slower and 20 meter range stylus is faster so this, uh, this is what the previous slide mean by stylus speed will change the PRF will also change okay now we will see what happens if the depth is 30 meter and we choose phase 20 to 40 and depth 50 meter phase 40 to 60 meter so what is the difference here is the stylus will move only when it arrives at the 20 meter uh, depth and the green one will start move only the stylus will start move only it arrives at the 40 meter depth actually not the stylus start to move the stylus is, is always keep on moving but it will, uh, it will arrive at the signal at the uh, sensor at 40 meter depth the other one is at 20 meter depth so if we, if we compare speed of the stylus uh, from previous slide you will see that the stylus speed is same so this is what it mean by the stylus speed will always the same the PRF uh, will also always the same 